In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Repent and believe in the Gospel. It's Lenten Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yermet, a selection of Don Bosco. Come back to the Lord with all your heart. Stay tuned. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. It is Tuesday, the 19th of March, 2024, the solemnity of St. Joseph, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We have paused from Lent to focus on a man who is a model of all men. That's why today is Men's Day in the Church. We want men to learn from St. Joseph, and we want also women to learn something from this great saint. Participating in the proclamation of the Word of God for today are the following daily bread members. Nebechi Priscilla Atua from Abuja, Nigeria, celebrating her 60th birthday today, takes for us the first reading. Alice Nalwi Mbazulu from Kitwe, Zambia, celebrating her birthday today, takes for us the responsorial sum. Pauline Laboso from Nairobi, Kenya, celebrating her birthday today, takes for us the second reading. And proclaiming the gospel is Deacon Justin Malewezi, a permanent deacon working in Liverpool Archdiocese, United Kingdom. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. The Lord God will give to him the throne of his father, David. Luke chapter 1, verse 32. A reading from the second book of Samuel, chapter 7, verses 4 to 5a, 12 to 14a, 16. In those days, the word of the Lord came to Nathan, Go and tell my servant David. Paul says the Lord, When your days are fulfilled, and you lie down with your fathers, I will raise up your offspring after you, who shall come forth from your body, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. And your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm is taken from Psalm 89, verses 2 to 3, 4 to 5, 27 and 29. Response is taken from Psalm 89, verse 37 a and the response is, His descendants shall continue forever. His descendants shall continue forever. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. Through all ages my mouth will proclaim your fidelity. I have declared your mercy is established forever. Your fidelity stands firm as the heavens. His descendants shall continue forever. With my chosen one, I have made a covenant. I have sworn to David my servant. I will establish your descendants forever and set up your throne through all ages. His, His descendants shall continue forever. He will call out to me. You are my Father, my God. 
the rock of my salvation. I will keep my faithful love for him always. With him my covenant shall last. His, His descendants, descendants shall continue forever. The second reading. In hope he believed against hope. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Romans 4, verse 13, 16 to 18, and 22. Brethren, the promise to Abraham and his descendants that they should inherit the world did not come through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. That is why all depends on faith in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his descendants, not only to the adherents of the law, but also to those who share the faith of Abraham, for he is the father of us all, as it is written. I have made you the father of many nations, in the presence of the God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead, and calls into existence the things that do not exist. In hope he believed against hope, that he should become the father of many nations, as he had been told. So shall your descendants be. That is why his faith was reckoned to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation is taken from Psalms 84, verse 4. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord, ever singing your praise. Glory and praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Luke 2, verses 41 to 51a. Behold, your father and I have been looking for you anxiously. The parents of Jesus went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was twelve years old, they went up according to custom. And when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents did not know it, but supposing him to be in the company, they went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinfolk, and acquaintances, and when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem, seeking him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them, and asking them questions, and all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when they saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been looking for you anxiously. And he said to them, How is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? And they did not understand the saying which he spoke to them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's devotion on the solemnity of St. Joseph will answer a number of questions that people ask about St. Joseph and will redirect us to the meaning of a family in the biblical context. People ask, what is the role of St. Joseph in the salvific plan of humanity in the Christian context? Was Joseph necessary anyway? Was it not enough just to have Mary become pregnant and then the salvific plan be achieved through her alone? Why to bring in Joseph? 
Remember, we are stressing the fact that Joseph is the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. That's what we are celebrating today. And we want to place him in the context of being a spouse. Joseph was a spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary because God did not want to leave anything to chance. No, he wanted to say, by bringing in Joseph, I am telling you the composition of a family. I want to let you know that a family must be made of a man and a woman, not a woman and a woman. If that was going to be the case, since Joseph was not needed, logically, God would have just said, Mary, you only need a companion, so I will put in place another woman who will actually be a maid and will be taking care of the child Jesus until he grows up. Oh, my word, I'm getting an inspiration here. Listen, God knew the importance of a family. Even when Joseph was not the father, it doesn't matter whether you have children together or you don't have children together, but when you have a child, make sure that child is not raised by a man and a man, by a woman and a woman. No, the plan of God is that. A child is supposed to be raised by a woman and a man. So those of you who are convincing yourself that it is okay for us to remain as a couple, man and a man, woman and a woman, and then we adopt a child, that child will not grow up the same way that the child Jesus grew up. The child Jesus was able to transform the world because he grew up in the family of Mary and Joseph. Joseph was not the father, but Joseph took up the role of a father, of a dad. Not just a father, but a dad. Joseph did what every responsible man is supposed to do. And a responsible man is supposed to do something like this only when he is led by faith. That is why I would like to begin with the second reading of today where we see St. Paul writing to the Romans and telling them that the promise made to Abraham didn't come by law, it came by faith. He's writing to the community here in Rome, most of which was of pagan descent, and he wants to tell those Jews, listen, The new community of believers won't just be made of those who are Jews by blood, but those who become believers by faith. And so he stresses this point. The promise to Abraham and his descendants that they should inherit the world did not come through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. That is why all depends on faith in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his descendants, not only to the Jews, but also to those who share the faith of Abraham. For he is the father of all. He is not just the father of some, but he is the father of all. And Joseph represents the faith of Abraham, the faith that all of us are supposed to have. If you have to become a man like Joseph, you have to live by faith. Even to run your own family, my dear man, since we are focusing on men today, you have to be a man of faith. We are looking at our churches and how many men are involved in things of God. Very few. We see an example in Joseph. 
Look at this man. He had deep love and concern for Jesus. That is a man of faith. As men of faith, we must have deep love for Jesus. Despite the stress and worry of losing their son, Joseph did not give up until he found him. This shows us the importance of prioritizing our relationship with God above all else. Just as Joseph put everything aside to search for Jesus, so too should we be willing to seek God with all our hearts. Look at him. He did not leave it to Mary. Go and search for Jesus. Go and search for your son. No, they went together. They were holding each other's hand as they went looking for Jesus. And they found him in the temple. They went to the temple together. We are looking at our churches. And we are wondering, where are the men? Why are they leaving their wives to go to church and they are not going there? They end up just complaining. All oh, these women like going to church. What about you? Be a Joseph. Join your wife and go to that house of God to look for Jesus. He went with her to look for Jesus. And that is what made that couple to stay together to the end of their lives. Because both of them were looking for Jesus. They were searching for Jesus in their lives together. And this is a model of a family life. That's why we are calling him a husband. You may be a man in the house, but you are not a husband. A husband is one who does everything with his spouse. You may have a lot of commitments, but don't forget to search for Jesus together. Search for Jesus together in prayer as a family. Do that at home. Do that at church together and sit together in that church. These two were together as they listened to Jesus in the temple speaking to those elders. Though it's only Mary who spoke. Of course, women can speak. It's only Mary who spoke. But we learn a lot from Joseph in his silence. A man who never spoke a word. But his impact remained. Why? Because we don't need to speak a lot for us to have an impact on society. We just have to speak from our lives. You don't need to tell your spouse how much you love her. You just have to speak from your life. Your very actions will show this man's actions showed that he was a man faithful to his duties as a dad and as a husband and we want more Josephs in our lives today we want more Josephs because people are fearing even to get into a relationship that leads to marriage because many of us as men don't know how to be dads and how to be husbands let us get a moment to learn from Joseph that in order for me to be a good husband, I must be a man of faith, not just a man of knowledge, but a man dependent on God. That's Joseph and that's what we are expected to be as a couple, as families, wherever we are. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Tuesday to you and happy feast of Saint Joseph, husband of Mary. Thanks be to God. Long have I waited for.